As crazy as it sounds, I'm pretty sure the technique in today's video is completely secret. I don't think anyone or any pros are aware of this technique, and if they are, they definitely don't use it. So I'm curious to know what you guys think and whether or not you think it's a game changer, but I talked about this live during my fissure map breakdown. So I'm gonna throw to that. Let's see what you think. Do you have to crouch to hit that clamber? Yeah, I, I hold crouch on every single jump unless I specifically am not supposed to, right? Like every jump I'm holding crouch by default, it always helps ensure that you hit your jumps more consistently. Uh, unless, of course, the jump is like you're not supposed to. It's just a perfect, uh, you know, like crouching would ruin the jump, let's say. Like for example, and this is, this is some super technical, some super nerdy stuff that I'm gonna have to talk about in a, in a future video. But uh, a pr an example is uh, is basically like if I'm clambering up on this ledge and I want to buffer. If you're a Smash Bros fan, you're gonna love this sentence. But uh, Gary Spot with the follow, thank you, man. Welcome. Basically, there's a way to buffer a short hop out of your your t your movement. Basically, like out of your thrust, you can buffer a short hop out of your Spartan Charge. You can buffer a short hop out of your Ground Pound. You can buffer a short hop. Like that. See how I'm doing like a frame perfect, like I'll ground pound and then I'll do a frame perfect short hop immediately after. Or I can thrust, frame perfect short hop. So what I'm doing is I'm holding jump and crouch out of thrust and I do a frame perfect short hop, which it doesn't seem useful to do this. Like why would you want to do a short hop out of a ground pound? But you can do it out of a clamber. And this is where I think there's actually use. And the way to do it out of a clamber is you have to clamber a ledge without holding crouch when you clamber the ledge. Uh, if you hold crouch, for some reason it doesn't work. And shoutouts to Bubba, because he's the one who showed me this. I don't know the science behind this, I just know how it works. But if you don't if you don't hold crouch when you clamber an a ledge, and then during the clamber animation, you hold crouch and jump. So you have to like, clamber without crouch, and then hold crouch and jump during the, end the second half of the clamber animation, and then you frame perfectly, short hop, out of clamber. Why would you want to do this? Because you can spring jump immediately afterwards. Is basically what I'm saying. So there's certain areas in maps and you have to find good spots to do to, to do this. Uh, a good example would be glass in plaza. When you clamber up to glass in plaza, you can do a short hop out of the clamber and then spring jump to the beam, the pipe on the top of glass. So that, that might be a use for it. But this is like some tech that nobody really knows about and it's it's hard to find a good instance to use it. So nobody bothers to to you know care for it either, right? But this is one of those things where I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like short hopping lets me hit the floor faster so I can spring jump maybe earlier and I can connect a sequence more you know, precisely. Right, it is cool. You, yeah, normally you have to choose between whether or not you want to clamber a ledge or if you want to spring jump over the ledge so that you can land and crouch so you can spring jump again. But this gives you like a new option to set up a quick, immediate spring jump and you can control the direction that you do that short hop so you can get some distance, right? You can kind of like change like lanes or whatever you want to do like with that, that little bit of movement that you get from the short hop. So I don't know, man. Uh, somebody give it a shot somewhere and see if you can find like a crazy spot to use it. Like I was thinking like... Uh, echelon, the pizza, clambering up to the bottom part of pizza and then doing a short hop into a spring jump up to the top part of pizza because that's all spring jump height, that area. Recognize Shotzi was short jumping to set up spring jumps in his gameplay. I feel like most people don't bother to save milliseconds to do normal. Exactly, most people don't. Um, and it's hard to just like go for a short hop in your gameplay because you have to like perfectly time crouch and jump together. You have to press them together at the same time to hit that. And it slows you down when you do that too. But just knowing that you can do it out of a clamber, as long as you're specifically not holding crouch during that clamber. So that's one of those instances where I wouldn't crouch jump is what I'm saying.
So I couldn't help but find a few more examples on my own time of where you might be able to use this technique to gain efficiency in map movement. On Plaza, for starters, you can jump, short hop, spring jump, grab the light post. Same thing once again here is you can clamber, short hop, spring jump to the window to the right instead. And maybe you're saving one or two seconds doing this, but that little bit of optimization in your movement, if used at the right time, could allow you to make a play. This one's interesting as well. This light post here, normally I crouch jump to hit this light post, but if you're holding crouch when you clamber, this technique doesn't work. So you kind of have to retrain your brain to use other mechanics. For example, I can jump stabilize and not hold crouch and still reach this jump because the stabilize still pops me up a tiny bit. So you're like retraining your brain to, to stabilize without a crouch or to super jump without a crouch or to spring jump without a crouch just so you can hit these higher ledges and hit this technique, the short hop into a spring jump. So short hop off the light post, spring jump up to top yellow and some pretty cool time saves to get up to top yellow here. A couple other examples. This is just a, a quick one on Empire. So you're clamber, short hop, spring jump, and you go directly up to this ledge here, which you can use to jump, you know, around the, uh, the bend and just make an outplay on someone. Same type of thing on Truth here. So I'm going to do a super jump without a crouch, but you still get height from the super jump without a crouch, and then short hop, and I'm kind of bending a spring jump around to get up into these, uh, like the pink attic and the car attic. So this is tough for me to do without the scoreboard, but if you're you know, like a spring jump wizard, maybe you can pull this stuff off really consistently. But once again, super jump, clamber, short hop, and then just kind of bend a spring jump around and you can very efficiently navigate this area without a clamber. Uh, the rig is amazing for this technique, especially trench, getting at a trench. So you can jump off the side of this rail, like jump thrust, clamber, or do a regular jump clamber. Uh, and then you can spring jump immediately out of the clamber, especially over here. You just clamber, short hop, spring jump. Like that's such a great time save and efficiency to get immediately up to these ledges. Now this part right here, uh, a lot of this stuff can be done, if, if you're really good at spring jumps, a lot of this stuff can be done in like a double spring jump. So right here I can spring jump once, spring jump twice, and I can get up here really quickly. That's the fastest way. But if you don't have the timing or the freedom to do that, it's nice to know that you can clamber, short hop, spring jump, and get up there almost just as fast right out of a clamber. So that, that little time save is really, really sick. Same thing right here. You're like slide jumping over, you can do a short hop to the box, an immediate spring jump right away. And that's the beauty of the short hop out is I can I can like aim where I want to go essentially. I can short hop out to a specific location and then do the spring jump later. And it's just great for efficiency and movement. Same right here, this ledge, I can spring jump to this ledge, but if you don't have the freedom to do it, you can clamber, short hop, spring jump. And you just save that extra second, a little bit of time. You get places faster, you get to high ground faster. Honestly, I think it's really sick on the rig. There's one more that I'll show here on the rig. It's more of an advanced skill jump and I'm going to use the scoreboard for it as well, but short hop, spring jump, grab this ledge right above. I'll do it another time here. Just great little nuance that you get from this, uh, from this technique. A lot of time save efficiency. Uh, really cool. Anyway, today's video is nice and quick. I'm curious to know what you guys think of this technique. Do you think it's a game changer? And can you think of other areas where to use it? Because I only showed a couple maps. I guarantee you there are other places where you might be able to gain an advantage using this technique. And it's I just think it's crazy that, that to me this is brand new. I didn't know about this until a couple weeks ago. I'm not sure how many people did know. You can let me know in the comments if you were aware of this for years. But it's just cool that there are little, you know, just advanced techniques and mechanics and things that we're still kind of discovering now, four years later after this game came out, and who knows what we'll discover as we continue to play, uh, as we continue to wait for the release of Halo Infinite. Anyway, if you guys like this content and you want to see more, make sure to like, subscribe, and if you're interested in learning more about the spring jump and the short hop specifically, check the two videos on my right. They should give you exactly the info you're looking for.